Twins Motown. Yeah, it's almost early. <coughs> and my brother Frederick Knight will tell you, we've been through a lot of struggles with the industry. And I commend everyone here for continuing to push forward, uh, continue to branch out, yet at the same time continue to try to build up the scene here in South Carolina. You'll always get everywhere you go, someone saying, but well, you gotta do this with your hometown first. That's great. But guess what? There are people that are blowing up in other parts of the world and the country from South Carolina that you have never heard of. So, and that's okay. It's just like people graduate high school from South Carolina and go get a job in a whole other state. They come back and you're just like, wow, how you doing? Well, I'm feeling great. I'm a CEO of so and so in Minnesota. So it's the same thing with you in the business. This is the business of music because it's your business to make you, as the product, sell. That's it. Uh, biggest thing I commend everybody on is something I have to keep reminding a lot of our rappers. Do not look at other rappers in the state. That's like looking at your brother and being mad because mom gave him an extra leg of chicken and you didn't get one. You're eating from the same household. You're in South Carolina. Nobody in South Carolina, no matter what genre, what business, what aspect of entrepreneurship you're doing, should be looking at another person. Your competition is the people that are coming in this state and taking the business away. That's it. So continue to thrive. Continue to uh, do exactly what you're here for. With uh, thousands of artists that are in South Carolina, they put the great uh, people that are here got a purpose. That's why you are here. You believe in yourself. You believe that South Carolina has the potential to put out not only great music, but, and I tell everybody that are artists now, let's make the new classics. Because uh, uh, being a DJ on the radio, and you're like, well, Prince Ice, you've been on the big DM since, well, yeah, nah, don't worry, I'm looking at that too. <laughs> but a lot of the music today is already over three weeks after it's coming out. Anybody can make a hit, but every hit is not a classic. A classic is a song that if you heard it in the eighth grade, you want to hear it when you have children. And your children are going to take it. We all are going to be listening to Michael Jackson indefinitely. And Rob Bass and Chub Rock and Snoop Dogg. Your children will, and, and for those that don't have children yet, your children will know who Snoop Dogg is. But they probably will never hear of a two chains in three years. If that person does not sustain this, and while I know this guy, it's up to this person to sustain themselves with more than the current scenario of music. And that's why I tell our artists, make classics. Classics touch everyone, not just the strip club. I say that because if you listen to my station, the other station I work for, not PPM, Hot 3.9, every song on the radio, is about the strip club. Mm -hmm. Every song on the radio. Can we get something else? Please. Please. I'm not throwing up my cell phone money in the club. <laughs> I told somebody, I had a rapper mad at me at a conference I went to in Atlanta. He said, well, man, how you feel about the record? Blah, blah, blah. And he said, well, Prince Ice, we want you to say something. I said, I want all you rappers to think about this line I'm about to say. Rather than always making it rain, make it grow. Mm -hmm. All right, man. Mm -hmm. Make it grow. Because when you just throw it out anywhere, that's like throwing seeds on the side of the road. Now, anybody that knows that, uh, yeah. right, you know what I'm talking about. Right. You can throw seeds anywhere, yeah. but the soil got to be right. Mm -hmm. If you throw seeds on rocks, there's nothing that's going to happen. You throw it on fertile ground, it's going to sprout. But guess what? It's still got to be water. So you know what I mean? So take the time with everything you're doing, whatever you're doing, our photographers, our videographers, every aspect, the people that are selling the product in the back, and please support everything in this room today. Because that is the true definition of doing business. That's why we're here. Network. And let's all continue to build everything we're doing together. Because together, this state has to grow. 
we are the last state in the Southern Revolution to even get noticed. The whole South music thing came up, but the state with South in the name is not even mentioned. Except when they come here and sell out and buy all the clubs and they, they can sell you the VIP for $400. Mm -hmm. T.I. is coming back again. I remember the first time that dude came to this city, they made 80 grand in two hours. What is that, uh, the uh, sound stage? It was, um, what was the name of that? Well, actually, the first time you came to town, and speaking of the strip club, uh, first time you came to town. <laughs> was the strip club yep. because we brought it to yeah, the strip club. We sure did. And uh Alright. I'm gonna go ahead. He'll tell you, you uh he was first played on a big deal interview between me and this guy and everyone else that worked there. Um so just um continue to do what you do. Continue to realize you gotta have a purpose to what you're doing. And and, and set an example for the, the people that are coming up to you. The only thing you have to do is do your best. We all pray and ask God to help us what we do. Now consider that with everything that you do. You know? Because the world is always going to push everything it wants you to think should work. But if you look outside the box, when you step outside the Southern Hemisphere, they're not playing all this strip club hip hop. You're getting ready to go right back overseas in a couple of weeks to do another gig. That's why you really don't see me a lot in clubs in Columbia because I, I'm, I'm kind of tired of trap music. I really am. Mm -hmm. I love it. My brother sold dope and stuff when we were kids. We never rapped about it. My father found out he would have killed him. <laughs> okay? The game is not to be told or sold. <laughs> Hustle. Then get out the game. You heard everybody from Jay-Z to T.I. said you can't do it forever. The biggest things we can't do forever is make excuses. We're here for the reason of propelling what we're doing to where it needs to be. Start here. You're here for that reason. I am honored to be allowed to come up here. And this is family with me because uh, I have not been around because of one specific reason. People obviously still appreciate what I do. I'm thankful. It's a 25th anniversary of being in radio coming up, matter of fact. So it kind of jerky a little bit, and then they got Mary J. Blige coming, and I was laughing with somebody. I, was, I got the open for that woman. And she took me on the road with people didn't know back then. I was a lot skinnier. <laughs> <laughs> but it was, it was a good thing to see. So I love y'all. Remember, man, make it grow. The only way to make it grow is if we all got a war in these seeds. Let's plan them right. Let's, let's keep cultivating this South Carolina scene together. All right? Thank you.